My name is Blake and I've been with Titan Medical for about a year now. So I was feeling just kind of sluggish, low energy, and there were a bunch of goals that I really wanted to reach. So I figured I needed to reach out to Titan, get him to take care of me. So I had a few issues actually that I wanted to take care of. Um, number one was my water retention and Turns out this is actually due to a hormonal imbalance. So Titan Medical ran my blood work and we found out that I had low testosterone. So once I started my therapy with Titan, uh, the water weight just started, you know, dropping off so quickly. <laughs> Even as a woman, like low testosterone is a really big deal and can impact weight loss goals and everything like that. Okay, so my blood work said that uh, I did have low testosterone for a woman, um, and it also told me that I had a B12 deficiency. So I started in with my Titan Complete and my ECA stack and uh, the testosterone replacement therapy. So I've tried a lot of different things actually through Titan. Um, the ones I'm using right now are, of course, my TRT, my testosterone replacement therapy. That's essential. You know, if your hormones are out of balance, that's the number one thing that you need to take care of. Uh, another one I'm taking are the ECAs. It's my personal favorite. <laughs> Helps with uh, your energy levels and just burns fat, even if I'm not in a calorie deficit, if I'm not dieting, kind of just helps maintain my leanness year round and just helps with energy focus, all that good stuff. So that's one of my favorites. And then the third one that I'm taking is the hair, skin and nails capsules. So I recently took out my hair extensions and I've been wanting to, you know, grow out my hair, <laughs> work on that hair health. And I mean, my hair is finally growing again. It's grown probably an inch at least, maybe more. And I've only been starting the capsules for maybe a month now. So that's a newer one that I've added into my regimen. I feel so much better since starting my therapies with Titan, um, mostly due to the you know, hormone imbalance because if your hormones are out of whack, there's just n nothing that can fix that. You feel sluggish. You know, you have no energy, and honestly, that's made the biggest difference for me, especially as an athlete, you know, because we need that energy. <laughs> Even if you're dieting, you know, my energy levels stay high. Um, and the ECA stack, I know I keep talking about the ECA stack, but, you know, I absolutely love that one. Keeps my energy levels high all day, and there's no crash, that's the best part. Normally when you take you know, a caffeine pill or, you know, even drinking coffee sometimes, energy drinks, pre-workout, that kind of thing. There's always a crash after. So, you know, you feel great for like an hour or two and then you just kind of <laughs> crash, get a headache, need a nap or whatever. And the ECA doesn't do that to me. It's like clean energy all day and it's much easier to get to the gym and get done what I need to get done. Uh, really, really good. So I absolutely love the customer service here at Titan. Um, probably my favorite thing is you can just text the number anytime that you have a problem or you need a refill or anything like that. They're really, really easy to get a hold of, care about their patients. Um, not a lot of companies really truly care about you know their patients, but Titan always has my back. 24 hours, you know, whatever I need, they're always there. So I absolutely love that. Um, and just everyone's really nice too. You feel like you're walking into like a big family and it's just a great feeling. So absolutely love the customer service here. There's nothing like it. <laughs> absolutely, I couldn't be more happy. Um, you know, they've helped me with all of my goals, finally losing weight again, <laughs> got that water retention off. I feel my best and it's amazing because now my body, you know, is reflecting how I feel on the inside too. So I look great and I feel great. 
um, and it's just really, really amazing to like finally be hitting those goals. <laughs> so even if you're not an athlete and you know, maybe you just want a little bit more energy, Titan's the place for you because it doesn't matter what your goals are, um, you know, they've got your back no matter what it is, so. At Titan Medical Center, we pay close attention to every detail to help our patients achieve their goals and optimize their overall performance. We offer blood work, peptide therapies, medical weight loss, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy for males and females, custom IV and nutrient drip therapies, injectable vitamins and amino acid injectables. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to make my round to everybody. Thank you guys for all coming out here and spending time with me. That is the most valuable thing to me and priceless to me. So thank you guys so much. Everybody that said that I get here at nine, you know me all too well. Let me make my way around here and say hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You got it, baby. My man. Echo. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I got everybody out here tonight, man. Yeah. Hi, man. How are you doing? Good. Just went way over to the side for Michelle and Enzi and everybody. Hello. Thank you, bro, dude. Hey, listen. Thoughts of cops. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. My man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have your present over there. Thank you. Thank you. Presents, you guys have been coming. I mean, that's that's awesome. Put this over here. All right. My way through here, I'm on my way back. What's up, man? Big Don! Oh, man. Always good to see you. We're coming to Ja Rule, too. Ja Rule? Oh, yeah. You already coming. know. Yeah, I'm coming. I told him I'm coming. Next one, I'm coming. Support it out. Work our way back here. Hi, hey. thank you for coming, Emma. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Come here. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. oh my God, me! Hi. We miss you thank guys. You. We miss you guys too. I hope everything is good, man. Yes. I'm calling you guys. I'm like, this is awesome. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Good to see you. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Good to see you. Dude, absolutely. We love you too, man. And of course, I got my son right here. Kicking butt. This guy looks like a grown man already, not even 13 years old. Yeah, hopefully future MLB star right here, right? Future future CEO slash entrepreneur coming at you. Remember this face, man, because you're going to see it a lot on TV, guaranteed, in the future. Watch. And all my friends here, right? 
all my people here. This is awesome. Out of everybody on a Saturday night, they could be out doing, they're here joining with us. So, Eddie D's big shout out. They always do it right, always help us out. So, I appreciate it. Steve and the rest of the crew that's here doing things. Thank you guys. So, yeah, so it's, it should be getting exciting tonight. 41 years old. The only you get, right? It's a proven fact scientifically that they do fly, fly by faster. It's really crazy, you know? So, uh, it's nuts. So, we'll see. Hopefully, they keep flying by in a good way. Let me just keep moving up. Happy birthday, Daddy Boo! <laughs> okay, all right. So first off, like I said, thank you guys all for coming out here. You know, time is valuable, time is precious, and we never get it back. So having you guys come out here is, is, is like so, so awesome, right? Um, I hold each and every one of you guys to my heart. Like I've been through a lot of different situations, times with all you guys in different scenarios, right? Um, you know, some people I've known more than other, but you guys are all on the same levels to me. Um, I love all you guys. It means a lot to me. Um, my beautiful wife for putting this together every year for me. She always does a great job. She invites all you guys, gets everything organized for me, so I couldn't do it without her. I love her. You know, she talks to God, but I love her to death. I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you guys so much for coming out and celebrating my 41st birthday. And uh, hopefully I have a whole bunch more time to go. And uh, I love you guys. So thank you guys. On one, two, and three. Oh, no. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to go red. Happy Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now you gotta get Thank it all you. one blow. Thank you. One blow. Make a good wish though. Alright. Alright. So I'm just I'm just going by what I see from you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're here at Eddie V's. I'm gonna do it like John. I, I'm gonna do it just like John does it. Yo, we're here at Eddie V's. No, I'm here at Eddie V's with my girl Echo, my security card, aka my mentor Neil. Neil Burner. Hey, listen, we all have a long history with John and Cherise. Happy birthday, John's chorus. Very proud of your accomplishments. Proud to be friends with you. Um, nowhere else we'd rather be than to celebrate your big day with you, man. Thank you for everything you've done for the community. Us personally, this is a little something we can give back to you by celebrating your big day. I'm not, see, I'm not that good, but I John, Cherise, we love you. Thanks for always having you. us happy out. Birthday. Love you. Happy birthday. Yeah, she's shy, but love you, John and Cherise. <laughs> big, big 41. So that means when you get here, me and Neil, we're going to give you 41 spankings. Oh. So. 41 zero. Happy, happy birthday, John. I'm really happy to be here. Happy birthday, John, to many more years. Happy birthday, Papa Jay. We love you, and we're so grateful to have you. Big happy birthday, John. Uh, your favorite TPD officer, Jerome, Romy, Rome Graham. Enjoy your birthday. Have a blast. Thank you, Sheree, your whole family, for everything you do for me. You know I always got your back. Your number one cop in the city, Jerome. What's up, guys? It's Big Drew here representing Titan Medical Always. It's my brother from another mother, John's. 41st birthday so we're all here with the team we got a private room rented out john shreese will be here in about 10 or 15 minutes but again happy birthday john you're like a brother to me but one of the biggest influences in my life and i'm proud to call you family let's go happy birthday john happy birthday john thank you so much for giving me a chance on this team it's been nothing but great vibes you've welcome me like a family. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for welcoming me into the Titan family. I have learned so much. I've grown so much. And happy birthday to Papa Titan. Happy birthday, John. A year ago, we celebrated the big 4-0, which you gave me the best news ever. You wanted me to be part of Titan family after many, many years of trying out. So you've been a huge inspiration um, to me and I've worked hard. And in terms of what you and Therese have created, 
the Titan family, uh, a successful business. You inspire me. You inspire me to one day be as big and successful as you. Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday. What's up? I want to give a special shout out, a big huge shout out to John Sikoris. Happy birthday, big bro. I want to tell you that we love you very much. Thank you and Sharice for all you do. The Titan crew. You want to say something special? Have the happiest of birthdays. Woo! Team Titan, baby! Woo! What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. True love. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to come by now. It's hard. It's a rarity, guys. Yeah. Not everybody does get to experience it, so I feel very blessed I'm lucky. to have this. Very lucky. You know, even though, you know, sometimes they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's what makes it that much better, right? That's what makes I make his day interesting every day. <laughs> See, at least he's not bored, right? He'll never be bored. This is very true. This is very true. And hopefully you're not either, because you want to get bored in a relationship. Yeah, bored, it's not good. But uh, this week, uh, we want to hit on some, some different things in health, right? And uh, we want to talk about the three types of health. And usually when you think of health, you usually think of physical health, right? Everything's working on my body. I'm able to you know, do things uh, internally. I think I'm okay. Every you know, vital organs are all right. Um, and I can go out and be a regular person, right? And physical health is a big part of your health, okay? But we also have other things that are part of our health, like mental health or even sexual health. And all three of these things combined um, are going to help your relationship. So you want to make sure that all three of these things are dialed in correctly and then you guys are on the right track of good physical health, good mental health, and good sexual health. So let's talk about these things and break them down for you guys so you can truly understand how it's going to benefit you guys and your relationship, hopefully. So the first one, let's talk about the easy one, physical health. So like I said, physical health is something where you look at somebody, they can move all their arms or legs, they can do activity with no problems, everything is good to go. They're physically healthy individuals. Now, physically healthy individuals might look a different way to one person than the other, right? Because mm -hmm. somebody that's in physically good shape might look different than somebody that's in good physical health, right? True. So, you know, that's all depending on what the person's looking for aesthetically. But uh, physical health comes in the way to help a relationship because you want to be able to do things with your partner, mm -hmm. right? Activities, your taking them on dates, you're going hiking, you're exercising together, you're taking a walk down the street, whatever it is, this all has to do with physical health. And not to say if somebody's not in good physical health that you can't have a good relationship too because there's plenty of people that have disabilities out there that don't let those disabilities stop them from having good physical health. And whether you know they're paraplegic and they're in a wheelchair, they're still doing everything they possibly can to be in good physical health. I know plenty of people that have been in wheelchairs that have dynamite bodies and I give it up to them even more and kudos because you know they can't really train everything in their body like their legs and such right and they're not getting any movement or activity from their legs or any help mm -hmm. so it's usually just all upper body so I give a big shout out to those people that are just you know have disabilities that, that create good physical health for themselves 
and your relationship will benefit from it because you want to do a lot of physical activities, I would mm -hmm. think, right? Yeah. Be active. <sighs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see him down the hiking trail, be like, I'll be up there in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you want to be able to, you know, tell your partner, hey, listen, I want to be in good physical health. I want you to be in good physical health because usually being in good physical health means you have a longer lifespan. That means you'll have more time together to share the love and have all these great experiences and memories that you will have. So, you know, physical health is a big part of things, no doubt, 110%. And physical health is not just your filters on your Instagram pages and no. stuff, because that's not physical health. That's called filters. <laughs> no face tunes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, so that doesn't mean just because you see somebody in a picture doesn't mean that that's what they look like in real life. This and that's is true. Everybody, you know, everybody lives this perfect world on social media. Yeah. So, you know, I want to make sure that you guys aren't comparing yourselves to people that are on social media and thinking, oh, they, they, they preach health and wellness and physical health and you know, do this do that and you know they slapped on a little six pack but you know when you saw them like let me see that six pack real quick you're like hey, it's a little cold outside <laughs> you got a big winter coat on i got my sweater on today you know so it's, it's true listen you got to be real about it real is real it's true don't hear yeah she's right don't go by social media and what you see on there because there's a lot of fakes out there there's a lot of filters out there. there's a lot of face tuning and body tuning out there you know, you really want to see somebody, see them in person. Uh -huh. And if they look like that, they look even better in person than they do in pictures. That's your truth right there for sure. But if they look way better in the pictures and the videos you see online, you see them in person, like, who is that? And I barely even recognize this person. Is that really them? You don't want to be that person. So don't slap the filters on. Don't go crazy. And don't make yourself what you are not. Yes. Because when you meet that partner and meet that person, they're going to probably think like, what the hell is this person trying to pull by me, right? <laughs> this is not the same person, you know? What was that, 10 years ago? Or <laughs> you? So don't let that happen to you guys, and don't be that person out there, okay? Nobody's perfect, everybody has flaws. The second one, mental health. Yep. Now I think this one, uh, you know, is a, a big priority, especially nowadays, the, our current state of events in the world. Um, I think a lot of people have dealt with more mental health issues in these last two years than probably ever before. You know, when we have suicides at the highest rate that they've ever been, um, and you have antidepressants being prescribed left and right like they've never been, you know, then obviously there's issues out there where people have mental health issues. And mental health is a big thing, especially in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You want to have good mental health, you want to be mentally strong, um, you want to be able to mentally support your partner. And that could be in anything from you guys learning from each other, for um, you supporting them in their time of need. You know, that's the good thing about having a good partner. Mm -hmm. um, that you can rely on your partner, maybe when the chips are down in your corner, per se, right? You lose your job, um, something went wrong, you have some health issue that came up, or whatever it is. And it puts you down in the dumps, right? Your mental health is it's on the decline a little bit. But then your partner's there to pick you up, mm -hmm. right? And they're there to support you, give you words of encouragement, these will help grow your mental strength and mental health. Some people might not know that underneath that smile, There's you might, you know, that, that, that could just be a front because you got to do what you got to do. This is true. So you got to communicate at least with your significant other to explain to them what's going on in your head, what, how you're feeling, you know, make sure they, they're on the same page and right. they at least understand what's going on. Right. You know, and then that way you have a support system. How right. are you supposed to have a support system if you don't tell anybody? Right. You know? It's, it's true. I mean, um, like I said, a lot of people are dealing with different mental health issues and not just because of the pandemic issues. Um, people face mental, uh, mental scarring or mental abuse per se, and this could lead into a decline in mental health later on in life um, because they're still going possibly through some of these traumatic events in their brain. Um, they keep rethinking them, we bring them up, and this just drags their mental health down even more. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, you know, we need to be able to help and support your partner, or even if it's just your friend per se, right, and bring them up. And, and, and help them if they need professional help too. That's when you know you gotta you know push them a little bit maybe and say, listen, you might want to go see somebody that professionally can help you and talk about some of these issues so maybe they can get over those mental health problems and be better for your relationship because mm -hmm. you know these can hold back a lot of things and anger and frustration and all these different things that they've dealt with before and now they're placing it on you because you're in the relationship with them and they think it's gonna happen the exact same thing as it happened before. Right. It happens all the time, especially with girls, guys. Or even guys, I could say. If you have a bad experience with 
uh, a partner and they cheated on you or they messed you over in some way, shape or form, you know, you're always going to be a little bit more cautious of that in the future. Yeah. So, you know, they're looking at it and they're like, oh, this is the exact same way this guy or this girl treated me and I'm not going to let, ever let this happen again. So I'm going to put up these big barriers and mental walls that you're going to have to start breaking down through time. And some people just don't let those walls down immediately. These are things that you have to work with over time and you build trust exactly. and all these different things yep. that help those walls come down and crumble, right? Mm -hmm. So you can get through them. And then when you get through those walls, don't do something wrong where those walls are going to go up even faster than they were before and double layered. Right. Because um, it's going to be harder to break through those walls again, especially if you did the damage, right? So mental health is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. So physical health, you know, strong body and a strong mind, right? Now, the only other thing that we're missing out of this is sexual health. Yeah. Um, and that's a big part of relationships, whether you like to admit it or not. Um, and I guess it is a part of physical health, too, because you got to be physically able to have sexual experiences with your partner True. Um, but some people are physically able and still the partners or the wife the couples whoever it is they're not having the good sexual health um, and I know me and Sharice you know we talked to a lot of different couples out there and uh, you know we get a lot of feedback and you know some couples it's just all over the wall of when they're having sexual experiences um, and sexual so random yeah it, it is it's, it's really random mm -hmm. and, and you know, these sexual experiences have not just you having sex with somebody, but it's you actually pairing yourself down, lowering inhibitions, um, you guys bonding on that certain sexual level, right? And that's bringing you guys closer. But so that's a big, big thing out there. So you want to make sure that you guys are you know, appreciate each other on a physical level too, as far as sexual. And it doesn't have to be having sex and kissing, like she said. Yeah. Sharing of that experience. Cuddling. You know, whatever I love cuddling. It is. That'll bring you guys closer together as a, a pair. And it releases those great hormones like oxytocin, yeah. endorphins, make you happy. serotonin. We want these things. These make us happy. You have a great mood, right? You don't want to be frowning upside down or all frustrated. Sexual tension can create frustrations. <laughs> and it can create a, a mean pattern for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you go 30 or 60 days if, if you have, God bless you. But me, I couldn't do that. Or nobody's, if I do, I would have to have some self-love. I was going to say, so nobody's going 30 or 60 days. It's going to be tough, right? So They got a laptop. Just keep this in consideration and remember <laughs> that, you know, all three of these things, you know, really circumference health. Mental health, physical health, and sexual health. So guys, take it for what it is. Enjoy your partner. Enjoy your future partner, whatever it is. And make sure you guys are tuning in to us every week. 11 a.m. on ABC, me and Cherise for Cupid's Corner. If you don't catch it live, DVR it. And if you can't DVR it, make sure you go to YouTube, look up Titan Medical Center, watch all these great Cupid Corner episodes and a lot more. So we'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. Yep, I'll see you then.